This is Callahan913 and today I'm bringing you a new series. And in this series, as you can see it is titled Drift Test Dummy. And I went with that title just being clever thinking oh crash test dummies because I usually crash when I try to drift. So the idea behind it is uh, basically I get a car, I upgrade it, I tune it and see if I can drift it. And this may work out, this may not work out. So let's see how it goes. Uh, the first car that I got, I have gone with is the Nissan Fair Lady Z. It's a real cool car. I kind of modeled it after the Roadkill car, uh, the Rotson. Because why not? Roadkill's awesome. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, just it's like five o'clock in the morning. I should probably be sleeping, but I'm making this video. Um, in the upgrade shop here, I did do the R34 swap, and that's just because even on the stock motor and building it, it just didn't have enough power. At least to me. It didn't feel like it had enough power. No bumpers or wings, nothing like that. Sport tire compound. Uh, what was this? 205 in the front, I think. Yeah, 205 in the front, 215 in the back. And wheels, I mean, pick what you want. I left the stock wheel size and used the uh, Haman or Haman, uh, the second one. Everything here is race. Uh, everything here is race. I mean, that's just kind of something you do. And then we'll start here. Uh, as you can see, 597 horsepower, 506 foot-pounds of torque. And this here, I don't know, it might have a little too much power. So event, I might go back in and cut it down just a little bit and see how it feels and go from there. But race flywheel, race oil and cooling, race intercooler, stock twin turbochargers, race pistons, sport displacement, sport valves, street camshaft, race exhaust because race car, Stri uh, excuse me, race ignition, race fuel system, and race air filter. And then on the tune, which I have a weird way of tuning, uh, it's kind of not normal, I guess. It's something I picked up watching some Forza 5 uh, videos a while back, and it's just something I started doing that it makes more sense to me. It feels much better this way. So, tire pressure... 46 PSI in the front, 26 in the back. Uh, I, all I did was, yeah, I lengthened the gears to 309 for the final drive. Negative camber, 2.7 degrees. Rear is 0.6. 1.3 toe out, none in the back. 5.5 uh, caster angle. 19.9 for the front anti-roll bars and 19.3 for the rear. Uh, springs, I just kind of left them where they were at, I think. That, that might be right. Uh, dropped it all the way. Uh, 7.2 for the front stiffness, or front rebound. 6.9 for the rear. And then 5.6 for the front bump and 5.4 for the rear bump. Braking, uh, I did 70% front, 137% pressure, which makes sense because more weight is in the front of the car. It's, I don't know, it's something I'm still kind of testing. And then the differential, I uh, put it 65-45, which with this, you know, it's all kind of preference and how things feel. Uh, no. So I'm just going to go into test drive, run a quick lap, see how it handles, and uh, see what I can do with it. I'm going to pick Maple Valley, just for the simple fact that this is the track I usually end up on. It's a really beautiful track. forgot to hit A. 
uh, I just really like it. So, yeah. And I, I'm actually redoing this video because I did it before and it just looked awful. I think I had my render settings wrong. But as you can see, the car looks really nice. I like it. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into it. Warm tires up a bit. Okay, there we go. That's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll do that. Let's go ahead and huck it around this corner if I don't tap the wall. It is a little bit, I guess, twitchy, but I kind of like that. Okay. As I said, I named it Drift Test Drum... Drift Test Drummy. Wow. Go to sleep. Uh, drift test dummy for the simple fact that I just I really don't have a clue I can move stuff and kind of get the effect I want and that's about my knowledge with it and I might run a second lap just so I don't look like a total uh, dummy ha 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 oh no 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 Okay, I don't know how I saved that. But, and I just had the points counter on to make sure that, you know, oh, well, you get a lot of points when it kicks out this far. I guess that's a good thing. And that's kind of how I'm judging this tune at the, at the moment. Because, honestly, I just, I really don't care about points drifting. I mean, yeah, it's fun. It has its place whatever it's just not for me and it went off the thing the other problem is is I really don't know the uh, the lines one would take I just kind of oh hey I'm getting points I guess that's a drift again I really really do not know what I'm doing but I I like the way this sounds uh, it looks good and I, I'm impressed with it. Even though the points, like, I'm sure there's people that could do triple what I'm doing. You know, where I'm at now in just like half a lap. But, uh, I, you know, I like to have fun with it. This is just something I do when I get bored. Oh, I'm going to build my 50th S13. Or, oh, I'm going to build this car and see if I could do it. Come on, kick out, kick out. Ooh, beautiful. I mean, eh, to hell with it, I'll run it again. A little more reserved on this entry. I guess I could shift up as well. Okay, that kind of got me. So, my tips, if you copy the tune, obviously you would kind of throw in your own preferences if you have them. I just realized that I put the negative camber up and not the toe in. So that's a problem. And I'm in test mode, so let's change that while I'm sitting here. Take this back to zero and put this to five. See if that helps me out at all. Oh no, oh okay, yeah, there we go. And that's a world of difference doesn't look like it, but I can feel the difference. And, you know, like I said, I'm not one for points drifting. I don't really play, go into lobbies or anything like that. I just, you know, I do it for fun. And I don't like the whole pressure of, Oh, well, that car only has 400 horsepower. You can't trip with that. And, it, and it's coming from people like, oh yeah, okay, you you have what engine and how much horsepower? All right. And I I like the uh, the struggle. As weird as it sounds, I I, I want to fight. <clears throat> okay, fight the car a little bit and get it to do what I want. 
is when it just kicks out sideways and you fly right through, there's no fun in that. Yeah, it might look nice, but come on. Shift up, dummy. But I think, you know, it holds decent angle. It, uh, it's moderately fast. And I think even with this tune, you could, if you were into, uh, I think it's Formula D? Yeah. Uh, if you wanted to use this car, or even this tune for that, you could do it. Because I think the cutoff was S-Class 650 or 650 horsepower. Or maybe it's it's Bolt, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've bothered with any of it. But, this is where I'm going to leave it. You know, I, I basically matched the same laps. So, plus one for consistency, I, I suppose. To uh, move the point along. I'm Callahan913, and I'll see you next time.